Hello. Thank you for joining me for this third Lionsgate meditation this year in 2015. It's been some exciting energy that's come in and it's just been awesome to see all the things that have been seen, not only by myself, but by a lot of the light workers here on earth. What I'd like to do right now is to do a meditation. This was actually done in a group setting last night on a powerful 888 day of August. So just relax and go with meditation and hopefully you'll get something from it. What I've been told by the angels is that this is going to be an interactive meditation. And when I inquired what that meant, they want anyone listening to the meditation and participating in the meditation to have available pen and paper and to please write down when you are asked to write down something, to write down the words or the impressions that come to you. And um, then hopefully you'll share that with us here on earth that we can learn and gain from that knowledge that you've gained in the experience. So thank you again for being here. Let's begin to prepare to meditate. Before we begin the meditation, I'd like for all of us, wherever you are hearing this, hearing my voice, I'd like for you to join me in asking Archangel Gabriel to call out to the universe, to wherever anyone is that can hear this, that they send us voluntarily their love their light, their energy, their blessing, their happiness, their joy, their support, and their healing during this meditation. I ask all of us to set the intention that we're going to receive this back from the universe as we send it out to them. Now I'd like you to start focusing on your breathing. Close your eyes and just take that deep, deep, holy breath. Breathe in to every part of your being. Breathe in through all those chakras and just feel if there's any area of lack, you'll be able to feel it when you breathe it in. And then when you exhale, exhale anything that's unlike love, anything that no longer serves your purpose, anything that may be stopping your focus on this meditation and on this intention to grab this wonderful Lionsgate energy, this portal that has opened up and that is flooding us with this energy. Take another deep breath in. And again, if you're aware of any areas that need more love, that need more light, more energy, focus that energy right there, right in those places, wherever it may be. Now with another deep breath in, I want you to just feel your body start to relax. Just feel every part of you fully let go and relax. Feel your muscles release as you take this time just for you. Eckhart Tolle says the only time that we have is now, this very moment. So at this now time, just let you, yourself relax and focus on your spiritual self. Now I want you to imagine with me that you're in a candlelit room. It is so beautiful with the, the flickering of the candles on the wall. And as you look around to your right, you notice a whole wall that's filled with books. Books of every kind, every size, every shape, thin books, thick books. <clears throat> and as you walk over to this wall, you start reading some of the names on these books. And one in particular, one book is calling to you. So you walk over to that book and you pick it up. And as you do, you notice the title of the book. And you look at the author who wrote this book. And you see that the author is you. It has your name on it. And what I want you to do is to open that book. Go to the index in the front. And if you look down, you'll see that chapter eight looks interesting because the title of that chapter is Ascension. And you see that this chapter starts on page 88. 
So I want you to flip the book there. And you realize that, you know, maybe your human mind doesn't recognize these words right away. But if you look and really look with your spiritual eyes, you'll remember writing those words. I want you to start reading this chapter. And if you have pen and paper, what I want you to do is just, after you've glanced through and read through the chapter, just write down any words that come to you, anything, it may be a summary, it may be just um, something important that you see in this chapter. Write it down. If you don't have a paper and pen, then please ask the angels to help you commit this to memory. Whatever it is that you need to share with the rest of the world, you'll remember it later after the meditation. So just take a few moments, glance through and write whatever you need to write on your paper that's in front of you. Now you have a choice. You can either put that book back up on the shelf because you can always come back to it. It's, it's your book. It's going to be there and you know now where to find it. Or you can carry it with you as you finish this meditation. Just to have it there if you need to reference it, whatever. It's your choice. But you leave this wall of books and you begin walking through the room and a light catches your eye at the end of the room. So you travel that way. And as you come upon this beautiful golden white light, you see that there's a stairwell there, a stairwell that's calling your name. And you have a choice, as we always have free will and choices that we can make. And if you so choose, you start to ascend the stairwell. And as you step on the first step, you notice that you're not alone. Archangel Michael is there with you. Michael is our angel of protection. So you know you can feel safe while you're doing this meditation. Acknowledge Michael. Thank him for being there. And feel his wonderful presence. See his blue aura. And just feel that protective light around you. As you take the next step up, you realize that there are many angels that are behind you, they're lifting you up. They're right there with you for support and for love. And they're helping you ascend the stairwell. When you get to the top of the stairwell, you've entered another landing. And you look around and to your left, you see a window. So you walk over toward this window. And covering the window is a window shade. So again, you have a choice. You can leave the window covered, or you can open this window shade. And in opening the window shade, you're in essence opening your third eye so that your vision is clearer. You can see out the window. You can, may actually feel a sensation as you do so. As you lift up that window shade, you might feel your third eye flutter or feel your pineal gland start to turn. You feel a sensation in your crown chakra as well. So you sense to turn around, and when you do so, you see further in the room a table with a couple of chairs there. So you go over and sit down in one of these chairs. You put your book down, put your paper down. And when you look across the table, there's someone else there. This may be your angel, this may be one of your guides, an ascended master. Whoever it is, acknowledge them and listen to the words that they have for you. Just 
spend some time with this person that's there for you, just for you, and absorb what important message they're telling you. Whatever message you got from the spirit or this angel, write it down. Just take a moment and jot down what was said or the essence of what was said. And really absorb what was being told to you. You realize that the last thing that you were told in this message is to get up and explore more of this room. Look at where you're at. Look at what's there. And as you do so, you see a bright golden door at the far end of the room. So you approach this door. And as you do so, you can actually see your reflection in this golden door because it's that bright. So what do you see? Do you see you in your physical form? Or do you see your spirit? Do you see your aura? What color is it? Is it shining brightly? Look deep into your eyes in this reflection and just see what's there. See your spiritual self there. And as you do so, you remember what you wrote in that book on Ascension. What was written in your chapter that will be help you be able to open this golden door, this golden portal where this wonderful Lionsgate energy is coming through whenever you open that door. Whatever your words were that you were to say to enter through this portal, say them out loud and see in your mind's eye, see that portal opening, see that golden door swing wide open. And as it does so, you're flooded with white light, beautiful white light coming at you, coming through you, pouring into your crown chakra, surrounding your body. Just take a moment and feel that wonderful energy, that beautiful shift of energy. I want you to take a step through that portal. And as you do so, you open your wings and you just fly, you just float around in this wonderful white light. What do you see there? What are you observing? Are there other spirits here? Are there angels? Are there your, your spirit guides? People you know that have passed on from the physical that are there greeting you in this fifth dimensional energy? What's there? And what message are they telling you? What do you need to know that you can bring back and tell others about this ascension process? Take a moment and just fly around. Just float there and just observe and learn from this energy. Feel how amazing it is to be able to see with your spiritual eyes, to be able to have insight and to know without even knowing. You just, you don't need words. You see images and you just know what's being said to you. You can understand the language. You can understand the message. It's a wonderful message that's to be brought back to earth. Now I want you to take a moment and look back on Mother Earth as you're still floating there, she's still flying high in this dimension. Look back on Mother Earth and see all the changes that are happening energetically. See this energy that's flooding toward Mother Earth and the light workers there who are bringing it all in and helping others to see it through our light shining brightly. 
want you to just focus all of that love, all of that energy, happiness, joy, blessings, support, healing. Focus it all right now toward Mother Earth. We need to just bond together and focus this, this energy to Mother Earth for this coming ascension. Now as you return back to this room that you were in to, on the other side of the portal, you see that the table is still there and your paper is still there. You walk over and sit down, pick up your pen and write down any impressions that you got while you were in that fifth dimensional energy. What happened to you? Who did you see? Who did you converse with? What message was you get, were you given to bring back to us? And please feel free to share these important messages. We all need to know. We all need to work together in this ascension process. So if there was something important, an important message that we need to know about, please share it with us. And please know that you can return at any time to this fifth dimensional energy. Anytime you can just go into a meditative state and be asked to be taken there. Be sure to take Archangel Michael with you for protection. And just listen for the messages that you received and share it with us here on earth. I thank you so much for being here with us and participating. I'd like to share that when I did this meditation myself, it was amazing, the energy that was there, the love that was there. And when I went through that portal in that white light, all I felt was love, an incredible love, and just relating to other spirits, to the angels, to the masters, on that higher level and feeling their love, just pure love. That's what it's all about. Share your love. Let your light shine brilliantly to others. Namaste.